Jose Gonzalez. Hello. I'm Zacchaeus, the chief tax collector of Jericho. And um, I got to this position being really good where I, what, uh, at what I do. You see, Rome takes really good care of me. They love me because I make sure that they get what was quoted to them. And not only do I give them what they're asking for, I ask for double, sometimes even triple. And I would take that, I would just take it and even to the poor people, man, I was just so good at it. I started buying land, I bought a house. This house that I live in is huge. It has too many rooms for me to even count. While my neighbors are struggling, trying to make ends meet, I was stealing money underneath their noses. They wouldn't even know it. Well, so I thought, you know, this house I live in, I have these servants ready to serve, but they're, they're only serving me. I don't have no guests in my house. What, what is it? Is it because my house, is it hard to get to? I don't know everybody can see it, it's such a big house. Am I hard to get to? No, it can't be it. Every day I'll walk through Jericho, and I, I'll walk through the, through the marketplaces. Why doesn't nobody talk to me? Do they really know that I've stolen from them? I think they do. As a matter of fact, now that I think about it, every time I'm there, I hear, I hear the whispers. If I stay really quiet, I can hear them speak. And I can hear the words, thief, liar. Man. But don't, I don't worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I just keep a straight face. Don't let it bother me. Because it's not their emotions that gets me paid. It's their money. Right? <laughs> Why should I care how they think about me or how, that, how they feel? But man, when I'm alone in my house, man, it's, a, it's like a tug in my heart. It's just, it just isn't right. But I, I, I just can't turn around now. I have too much depending on me now. But there was this day that came along, and um, they were talking about this Jesus. And he would, and he would teach and, 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 and teach others. He even taught a, another tax collector, Matthew. Who does that? These, Jesus, they, they called him a, um, a troublemaker. Some called him the Messiah. But taking a tax collector for a disciple, that seems more of a troublemaker to me. Nobody wants to be around people like me, yet alone the chief. Man. Anyways, I heard he was passing through Jericho one day, and Jesus was such a popular person, there was no way I can get through the crowd. And a man of my statue, there was no way I was going to try to fight my way through, through that crowd. So I had an idea. I said, why don't I just climb this tree? Embarrassing as it might be, somebody with my status climbing a tree, like a child, I did it anyways. I really wanted to see what everybody was talking about. What was so different about this Jesus than these other prophets and, and speakers of, of the synagogues? So I climbed this tree. Despite all the mocking, they were laughing at me and, 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 and pointing at me and, and saying just cruel things, but I don't care. Like I said earlier, it's not their emotion that gets me paid. It was their money. So I'm there, and I'm, I'm hearing, I can't really hear him speak, or I can't, really, I can't really catch what he's teaching. And he's walking through Jericho, and he gets to the tree where I'm at, and he looks right at me. And my heart stopped at that moment. I knew what he was going to say. Oh, I just knew it. Thief, step away from me. You liar. I shouldn't believe anything you say. Oh, man, it was, I was ready for it. My prepared, I got ready. My heart got ready. And right when he spoke, he said, Zacchaeus, get down from that tree. Get your house ready. I need to stay at your house tonight. My house? I haven't had a guest in my house since I built the thing. And now somebody wants to come to stay? Not only that, the most popular guy in Jericho wants to stay at my house? Say no more. I got down from the tree. 
I got my house ready. The servants were ready to serve. My family was ready. And when he got there, that conversation that me and Jesus had completely changed my life. You see, I used to keep, I keep track of everything I steal from people. Everything I've robbed, I kept track of it. And I went back after that conversation. I went back to those people, and I paid them what I stole from them. But not only did I pay them back, I gave them four times the amount that I stole from those people. Half of my valuable possessions, I gave them to my neighbors, the ones that were struggling. I just gave it away. You see, I was the most hated man in Jericho, the chief tax collector of Jericho, hated by everyone in that city. And I found grace, I found love, I found mercy in the eyes of my Savior, Jesus. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand. I'm going to tell you today, the good news is that Jesus wants to come to your house. How many of you want to invite him into your house today? Give the Lord a big hand today. Well, I'm here today to tell you that God still talks to people.